So in the past four months, uh, I've been experiencing a lot of linear switches and it's very interesting, very interesting. And um, I've been spoiled with these uh, switches with quote unquote uh, special springs. So we have here the Epsilons uh, and the Zakus, which we got from Squishy Types. The KTT Rose with its progressive springs from Kibzilla and the green snakes with i think it's also progressive no it's not progressive it's a long spring the green snake from uh, zion studios ph um thank you to all those um constantly supporting this channel and my passion for mechanical keyboards um and so when i started the hobby uh and really got into customization of keyboards one of the favorite switches that I encountered would be the Duroc Palms. Uh, these switches are really good. Um, it's not that heavy. The springs are not that heavy. Uh, perfect from transitioning from the usual Gateron brown, yellow switches, red switches into something more premium. And I really love the Duroc Palms. So up to now, it's still staying with me. However, after uh, trying some of these switches in front of you, the, the typing feel of the Duroc Palm kind of became a little bit boring, to be honest. Um, and so uh, I, I kind of set, set it aside for a while. And I, I really wanted to go back to it because I really like the sound and the smoothness of the switches. It's just that I felt that the typing feel was not that lively anymore. And especially the topping out sound, which one of my friends pointed out. So again, in this hobby, uh, curiosity kills kills your wallet okay the more you know the more you you think you feel and hear stuff and then you want to try out new stuff so anyways um i tried out looking for some switches that would be able to make the typing feel specifically the topping out of the palms more lively and i came across this in shopee so it's a uh, switch spring the lumia lenten three section switch spring uh, it's very long. It's 21 millimeter long compared to the usual um, 16, 14, 16 millimeter springs of your linear switches. The Duroc Palm uses a 14 millimeter gold plated springs. So the Lumia switch is fairly long compared to this and I got curious and um, so I tried it out. So last night I was done with the transplant of the switches for my Duroc Palms. And here's the result, a uh, really, really nice. Um, the topping out feel is more lively. Um, the typing feel, the heavier springs, the long springs, I really love it. So I have more reason to keep the Duroc Palms with me. I got the 63.5 version, uh, but realistically, personally for me, uh, it feels heavier than 63.5, feels maybe around 65 to 67 grams. Um, and it's exciting because it's not that expensive and I believe this will brighten up some of the budget switches that I'm used to. So I plan to use this spring to some of the budget switches out there. Maybe the Aco switches or the Gatoron Milky Yellow Pro and see how it goes. All right. So here's the full sound test. Uh, enjoy guys and last one is real, last one is life. Okay.